What a joy to come your way again with the awakening word. We thank God for the diverse testimonies. I'm persuaded yours is next. I'm praying that every child God has given you will give you rest of mind. They will grow well. They will be great in life. And they will not bow to strange influences. I'd like to pray with you from Proverbs chapter 29 verse 15. New Living Translation. The Bible says to discipline and reprimand a child produces wisdom. But a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. Few thought. Number one, discipline is intended to make your children wiser. Discipline does not necessarily mean physical assault or hitting or knocking down, but it means being firm, being thorough, and being insistent in a given pattern for your child that will produce wisdom and great discretion in the life of that child. Number two, an undisciplined child will embarrass the parent will bring shame and disgrace to the parents. And today we have seen all of that playing out. We have seen a generation of untamed children, a children not disciplined. They just do any foolish idea that occurred to their mind. And they felt you shouldn't talk because we are also having perverse government all over the world trying to justify the indiscipline in our children. But those children were given to you by God, not by government or not by the society. So it's your responsibility as your children grow under your oversight to make sure they learn basic disciplines and moral decorum that will make them wise at the end. And I'm praying that every child that is bringing shame today, God will encounter them and they will bring honor and joy back to the family in the name of Jesus. I'm praying very strongly for you that each of your children will be 10 times greater than you. They will be morally sound and disciplined because you offer them the discipline. Therefore, as parents, don't do things that bring shame. Lest your children copy the same and bring you pains at your old age. Let's show discipline between husband and wife, discipline between parents and children, and discipline among siblings. It will give you wisdom. It will give you joy and honor in the name of Jesus. I'd like to invite you very specially for October 1st, is the Independence Day of Nigeria, and it's a Tuesday, and we shall be having a special edition. Let my gate be open. Instead of holding in the evening, it shall be in the morning. Special edition this coming Tuesday, October 1st. The same Tuesday at evening will be the Ibadan. Let my gate be open in the evening starting 5.30. These are moments that God will open the gate of the nation and the gate of the city and the gate of your life. It will open to bring you into unusual harvest and great help that is beyond human compression. It will be a great joy to have you in this meetings. In Jesus' name. Amen.